Go outside and find the nearest tree. On that tree, you'll find many different species. Some feed on the leaves, some feed on the roots, and some feed on the tree trunk. In this way, leaves, roots, and tree trunks are all separate examples of ecological niches. The number of species in any habitat is limited by the amount of available ecological niches. This is because no two species can exist in the exact same ecological niche. If two species do exist in the same ecological niche, there can be only one of two outcomes. Either one species will outcompete and exclude the other species from their habitat, or one species will change its niche. To continue our leaf example, one species might specialize on feeding on old leaves, while the other might specialize on feeding on new leaves. This is called niche differentiation. Surprisingly, my own research has identified two insects that seem to coexist in the exact same ecological niche. These insects are pollinators. They are highly specialized and complete their entire life cycle on one species of Australian plant called the coffee bush. They are very small, less than five millimeters long, and are very common and are found together all the way across New South Wales. How then can these two species coexist at the same site over such a large area? I believe that it may be possible for two species to coexist if one is a good colonizer and the other is a good competitor. Let me explain. Imagine a pair of identical twins. These twins live in the same town and unfortunately for them, they are competing for the same job. One of these twins went to university and got a degree. And for this reason, they are more likely to get the job. They are the strong competitor. However, the other twin stayed at home, saved his money and bought a car. Now for this reason, he can look for work in the next town or the next town after that. He is the strong disperser or the strong colonizer. Ultimately, both twins find work because although they are very similar, they differ in their investment in competitive or dispersive ability. I believe that species can do the same thing and that good dispersers uh, can avoid competition by finding new open patches of habitat. It is true that all, species are limited, that all habitats are limited in the number of species by the number of available ecological niches, but species may also be able to find ways to bend these rules. My thesis may help, to us, help us to understand how very similar species can coexist. And by looking at very small things, I hope to answer big questions about the world around us. Thank you.